Initiates are not allowed to speak to strangers. Oh. <laughs> that stranger happens to be my sister. Oh, Patty, the members of Alpha New Sigma are your sisters now. <laughs> not some little lowlife from P.E. and D. <laughs> Please don't, Jennifer. Hey, look, little old Mouse has her little old violin. Why don't you play something for us? No. Oh, come on. What's the matter? You got a little violin elbow? <laughs> Leave her alone. I just want to hear her play something. Let's see what you got here. What can you I bet you don't need this music at all, do you? I bet you play by ear. Or isn't that what happens with those prodigies, a child prodigy you can just play by ear? That's supposed to be the mark of a genius. Stop it! Hello, ah. Jamie. I brought this for you. I watched you admiring it. This can be our song. You stay away from me. You can't seem to get it through your head. But I can't stand you. Why are you doing this, Julian? Horatio, they're not going to pamper us. They don't care who we were, what we had back east. We can make a life for ourselves out here, but we're going to have to earn it. Take me home. This is our home. It's not my home. Not mine. It will be. I'll see to that. Tell me, the present Mrs. Ewing, does she share that dizzy life with you, or is she safely tucked away with all the other Ewing possessions out on South Fork Ranch? Pamela, you shouldn't have come here. Oh, where should I be? Sitting at home, waiting for you? You two obviously want to talk. I'd offer to leave, but it is my apartment. Is it? Yes, Pamela, it is. All right. Well, let's find out what else around here is hers. Look, I've got a little girl asleep in there. Jenna, I have no intention of making a scene, do you? No? Well, then let's talk. I want to know where I stand, where you stand, where we all stand, and I want to know tonight. Well, tonight's just as good a time as any, I suppose. All right. I love Bobby, and I want him. What do you want? Bobby? Bobby? We're a husband and a father for your child. Some security. With Bobby, I get them all. He's engaging her. Look at him. Look at him. He's like a child. He's like a child. And not even aware of the camera. That's what I love. You just let the little electronic energy pulsers do all the work for you while you sleep. So you go from grandma to grandmama and one easy push of the button. She's never been so alive. She's, she's, she's never been so alive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the look of surprise is the youthful look. Well, hopefully, yes. So the mm. years just melt away with Instatuck. <laughs> oh, that's fascinating. May I see the uh, remote control unit there? Can may I? Ooh, may don't, I? don't oh, hand no. your life over to him. I think this would be fantastic for a surprise birthday party. Surprise party, she could say, surprise! <laughs> oh, my God. That's not funny. He's electrocuting Morgan Fairchild. Yes, I understand. That was the president again. I've got to steal back the X-1 before the Soviets find the secret compartment containing the microfilm. The future of the free world is riding on this one. I'm going with you. No, Daddy, it's too dangerous. <laughs> I invented the X-1, PW. I'm going with you. All right, let's go. You are such a pushover. Hello, all. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> Mr. Bing. <laughs> Nora. Charles. <laughs> it, it, it's so great to see you both here. Yes. Although I think we may be seeing a little too much of some people. <laughs> Aren't you a little old to be wearing a dress like that? Don't you have a little too much penis to be wearing a dress like that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Morgan Fairchild, 